Hello, you're all very welcome. Um, obviously, musicians are all locked away. We can't get to play with each other and we can't get to perform. And uh, but music is still important and it's important for our well-being inside. And uh, so I'm sorry that we were unable to have these concerts at the National Concert Hall. Uh, we were really looking forward to showing you this new band and all these new arrangements. So I've done a, a recording of some of the tunes. I'm, I'm recording some of the tunes that we made arrangements for with this band. But they're just going to be on solo fiddle for the moment. So you can just kind of imagine what it might be with the, with the other musicians involved. Anyway, we did manage to make a recording um, during those days while, the, while, while we were together and the concerts were just cancelled. So we will have that for you later in the year, hopefully. And uh, hopefully there will be rescheduled concerts. But in the meantime, here are some of the tunes that were the bones of what we worked on um, for, for these concerts that were, were unfortunately cancelled. So stay well, stay safe, and hopefully these tunes will help in some little way. I'm going to play a tune called uh, The Boyne Water. This is a tune that uh, I had on a recording of um, Michael Russell, the great old thing whistle player from Doolin. County Clare and um, he was a beautiful player and played him just you know had some essential quality that's kind of hard to define when it comes to this music but uh, anyhow I, I love this tune and I love lots of these tunes and this this one actually turns out is quite connected to um, the orange marching music I believe in Northern Ireland uh, it's called the Boyne Water so it's celebrated uh, in a different way in Northern Ireland and uh, but it's interesting that these melodies just float around the island anyway irrespective of political divisions or ideologies anyway I love the melody so here we go play a slow air called Ashling Gal. I remember this uh, many many years ago first hearing Irlo Lennard sing it and later discovering uh, recordings of Sean O'Reilly um, doing an absolutely beautiful arrangement of this and um, I mean I think it's all about the phrasing really it's not a complicated piece of music but if it's phrased in a particular way it, it really speaks and uh, so an Ashling Gal a bright vision and I uh, hope you enjoy it.
going to play a jig for you now this time called Garrett Barry's Jig and um, again it's a tune that I, I just recently recorded it it was kind of at the beginning of this crisis uh, when the concerts at the National Concert Hall were cancelled um, we took this new band the Carmel Brown Ensemble and we went uh, to Grouse Lodge Studios in Westmeath and we made an album um, in the early days of this I mean it was kind of a uh, I suppose we were hibernating away and um, none of us seemed to have any ailments so we said we might as well play music and uh, so anyway we did a very interesting version of this next jig called Garrett Barry's jig but I will of course um, it, this is a more traditional version but it was interesting what happened in the studio but anyway you'll you'll have to extrapolate from this here Peter Lachlan on it and Bradley Lafferty also. Anyway, this tune like is from my childhood, so you know it keeps circulating in the head, and eventually, you know, it begins to mutate and uh, variations begin to evolve around it. So I, I've come up with my own setting over time, I think, of, of this tune. So anyway, I hope you like it. 